Okay, so now we're continuing to look at ellipses, and I want us here to spend more time uh, fooling around with equations. Uh, I did, in my previous videos, I sort of set up two foci, and I looked at my definition that um, an, an ellipse is the set of all points where the sum of the distances to two fixed points is a constant, and I came up with the whole idea of the semi-major axis, the semi-minor axis, the focal length, and all that and C and the eccentricity and all of that from a graphical standpoint. Now I want to sort of look at equations. So um, let's start off with an equation in standard form. And so we're going to, uh, so this is standard form. And now we're going to sort of put this into another form and then we're going to put it back into standard form. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply everything by 9 and everything by 16. So I'm going to get 9x plus 1 squared plus 16y minus 2 squared equals 144. So that's so I multiplied this by 9 and 16. So the 16's canceled and the 9 was left over. Multiplied this by 9 and 16. So the 9's canceled and the 16 was left over. And then 1 times 9 is 9 times 16 is 144. Now I'm going to distribute it out. Well, I'm going to FOIL that. So I'm going to get x squared plus 2x plus 1 plus 16 y squared minus 4y plus 4 equals 144. Okay, now distribute the 9 and the 16, so I get 9x squared plus 18x plus 9 plus 16y squared minus 64y plus 64 equals 144. And then I'm just going to rewrite it in a different form, 9x squared plus 16y squared plus 18x minus 64y. And then I'm going to go 144 minus 64 is 80 minus 9 is 80 is uh, 71. I'm going to move it over here. So I'm going to get that. And so this is, you'll see something where you'll say, um, put this into standard form. Okay, well we know what the standard form for this one is, and in a second we will go and we'll do one that we don't know what standard form is. and. All we gotta do is we just gotta get back to there. So let's sort of reverse the process a little. What I'm going to do is I'm going to be doing some completing the square. So completing the square is important enough that I wanna sort of break that out and go over here and uh, it's a very, very useful thing that some kids get, but other kids struggle with. Okay, so let's just take an equation that I've got uh, x squared plus 5x minus 3 uh, equals 0. Okay, now what I could do is I could plug that into my quadratic. And that's going to well enough tell me uh, what the solutions to this are. But I want to sort of come at it from a different standpoint. Completing the square works like this. I, first I'm going to do x squared plus 5x, but then I'm going to do a plus blank. I'm going to move that 3 over to the other side, 
So it becomes positive 3 plus blank. Now, anything that I put in this blank and I put in that blank is going to leave this equation unchanged. So I have this insight that x plus a squared, if I FOIL that out, I'm going to get x squared plus 2ax plus a squared. So if I sort of mimic that underneath here, x squared plus 2ax plus a squared equals 3 plus a squared. Well, I can sort of see that here 5 equals 2a, which means that a equals 5 halves, which means that a squared is equal to 25 fourths. So what I want to do is I want to put a 25 over 4 there and a 25 over 4 there. And then that makes this, that's going to be x plus 5 halves squared. And then this side is going to be 12 fourths. 12 fourths plus 25 fourths is going to be 37 fourths. So then I've got x plus 5 halves is equal to plus or minus, plus or minus, plus or minus, the square root of 37 over 4. And so I'm going to have x is equal to negative 5 halves plus or minus square root of 37 over 4. Okay, so I didn't make the easiest choice that I could have on this one. I wanted to throw a fraction in there and some square roots that don't, that don't reduce. And um, we're going to have a few different challenges here. So now what I want to do here is I want to do sort of the same idea. I want to do 9x squared plus 18x plus blank plus 16y squared minus 64y plus blank is equal to 71 plus blank plus blank. So I got a blank there and I got a blank there so I've got two blanks over here. Now in this problem I didn't have anything in front of the x squared and here I don't really want anything in front of the x squared either so I'm going to write this as 9 x squared plus 18x plus blank plus 16 y squared minus, uh, that's 4y, 4y plus blank. Now this is really critical, absolutely critical that you do this. Because I pulled a 9 out of that blank, I want to do a 9 blank there and I want to do a 16 blank there. Because if you don't, what you're going to do, oh, sorry, that's a mistake. That's a two. If you don't put that nine blank and that 16 blank, then whatever number here you put, you're going to forget about this. And when you forget about this, you're just going to take that number, stick it there. If that 9 isn't there to remind you, you're going to forget about it and you're going to come up short and the method isn't going to work. So now you've got a 9 there and a 9 there. Now whatever you put in that blank, you just stick it in there and you don't worry about it because you've already taken care of it. So half of 2 is 1, squared is 1, 1. Half of negative 4 is negative 2, squared is 4, 4. So now that's a perfect square. That's 9 times x plus 1 squared. That's 16y minus 2 squared. And that's 71 plus 9 is 80 plus 64 is 144. And then I divide everything by 144. And I get 9, and I get, uh, sorry, x plus 1 squared over 16 plus y minus 2 squared over uh, 9 
equals one. And I'm back to standard form. Okay, so now let's do this for one that we don't know what the equation is to start off with. So let's do 25x squared plus 4y squared minus 50x plus 24y minus 39 equals 0. Okay, so there's one that we don't know what, it's, what it looks like already, but we'll get there. Okay, same method. 25x squared minus 50x plus blank plus 4y squared plus 24y plus blank equals 39 plus blank plus blank. Okay, now I'm going to go 25 parentheses x squared minus 2x plus blank plus 4y squared plus 6y plus blank equals 39 plus 25 blank plus 4 blank. Then that's negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1 squared is 1, 1. 6 divided by 2 is 3 squared is 9, 9. So now I've got 25 x squared, uh, 25 x minus 1 squared plus 4 y plus 3 squared is equal to 20, let's see, so that's 36, I'm going to do 39, calculator is a little bit malfunctioning right now. Okay, so 36 plus 25 is going to be uh, 71. Uh, 61. 61 plus 36 is going to be, I think I got that a little bit wrong. So that's 61 and that's six, so that's 97. Oh, that's a 39, I'm sorry. That's a 39. So 39 plus 25 is 64. So that's 100. Ah, oh, that works fine. Okay. So now what I gotta do is divide everything by 100. And I've got x minus one squared over four plus y plus three squared over 25 equals one. So that is an ellipse with center of one comma negative three and uh, vertices and so then it's going to have a semi-major axis so a is equal to two b is equal to five and so I'm going to have it's going to be Two in this, two in the x direction, five in the um, in that direction. So it's going to be kind of narrow like that. Once again, there's my potato, and so my center is going to be one comma negative three. That point is going to be five more, so that's going to be one comma two. That's going to be five less, so that's going to be one comma negative eight. This is going to be two more, so this is going to be three comma negative three, and this is going to be two less, so that's negative one comma negative three. And so then my x-axis or my y-axis is going to go halfway between there and there, 
and sort of my y, my x-axis is going to kind of go like that. So there's my x, there's my y, and there's my graph, and that's what I have to say in this video.